Hello, my name is Melinda Gooden and I'm the leader of the EndNote team here at the Swinburne University of Technology Library. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use EndNote 20, the latest iteration of the bibliographic software that we use at the library and across the university. EndNote can be used to collect your research materials in a database and then produce well-formatted bibliographic uh, listings for your assignments. When you first install EndNote on your computer, you don't get an icon on your desktop, so you'll need to use the Windows Start button and look in your All Programs list for EndNote. When you click the icon, you'll see this welcome screen, and if you've already used EndNote, you can open an existing library. Depending on the age of the library, it may tell you that you need to do an update to your file and it will guide you through the process of that. For today, we're going to create a new library. At this point, I need to do a little bit of housekeeping talk. It's really important that you don't save your EndNote library to OneDrive or Dropbox or any of the other syncing online systems that are available. The reason is that these systems will try to sync or update your files while the file is open, and that can lead to library corrup corruption. What we need to do is select the C drive of your computer, or if you're using a Mac, it will be the hard drive of your Mac. After you have selected the hard drive or the C drive for Windows, we'll need to create a folder at the top of your C drive to save your library, and this will maintain the integrity of the file. So uh, for Windows, click New Folder and give your new folder a name. Once you've given your library folder a name, just click open or double click and you are ready to create your new library. Uh, you can change the name if you don't like the default name. I'm going to call this my 2021 research. My 2021 library is fine and click save. If you've used EndNote before, uh, you'll find that EndNote 20 is a little bit more streamlined and uh, pretty much all of the activities happen from this starting screen. I'll just maximize it. And our new library is ready to receive data. So let's talk about retrieving information from the library system or from other databases. Now, uh, over time, this video may age because the databases will routinely refresh their front pages and the library may indeed do so as well. So the workflow is basically that you choose the appropriate place to search, you look for an option to export or transfer the research that you're interested in, and then you send it across to EndNote. You'll find that EndNote works really well with the library system and also with the major databases that we subscribe to. I'm going to leave EndNote running in the background and change across to the, one of the preferred browsers. Uh, for Windows, you'll find that the preferred browser is Mozilla Firefox, although we have found that Chrome works very well as well. If you're using a Mac, then we recommend that you download Microsoft for Mac. Uh, we have found that the native browser for Macs does not necessarily interact all that well with EndNote.